All right, guys, I'm back out at the range. Today I'm going to be testing, trying to zero in my M1 carbine at 25 yards. I'm the only one here right now, so I'm trying to trying to go fast. So it's a beautiful day out. I figure there's going to be some people here to show up eventually. Um, so I want to get this out of the way. Uh, I'm going to try these standing. I've been messing with the sights on this thing so much, I don't even know where it's shooting, so... We're going to find out. You know what, it's actually pretty spot on. Um, it's shooting a little bit to the right, so I think all I need to do, let's see. So I did three clicks to the left. Let's see where that's hitting. I mean, it's it's so close. I'll take it down there here in a second and show you. But I'm shooting uh, 110 grain FMJ Agula. I'm trying to get a little more precise here. Looks like it's still grouping a little bit to the uh, a little bit to the right. Let's go down and take a look at it really quick. Okay, I don't think I've ever done a video with this. This is my uh, Escort Magnum made by Haston. It's a Tur uh, company from Turkey. I could be pronouncing that wrong, so I apologize if I do. Um, I don't think I've ever shot it on camera, so we're going to shoot it today. I'm going to shoot some slugs and see where it's hitting at 25 yards, and then uh, I think I have some uh, buckshot with me too that I'm just going to play around with, but uh, let's see how this goes. All right, we're going to uh, shoot the the escort right now um, shooting wolf rifled slugs they are two and three quarter inch um, with one ounce slugs and uh, when I get home I'll talk more about the shotgun because I don't think I've done a video I don't think I've done a video on it it's... there we go the one thing that I've noticed about this shotgun, as opposed to other semi-autos I've shot, is this one's a little difficult to load. Um, but that aside, let's see where she's hitting at 25 yards. I guess it helped if I took the safety off. I do that all the time. I 
Okay, so it looks like, clear, it looks like it's shooting really, really low because I had to hold up 12 o'clock on the target for it to actually put around darn near close to the bullseye. So, windage seems to be fine. Let's, let's adjust the elevation here and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm just going to take a couple shots with my M&P here. Um, just have a target at seven yards. I just shot a couple more shells out of my shotgun of what I thought was just normal buckshot, double up buckshot. I'll have to show you what the ammo was. It just rocked my shoulder. So let me take a couple more rounds here and we'll, we'll round things up. It's not bad. I recently put an Apex trigger in this thing. Also, I'm shooting a mixed bunch of ammo. I've got some Tula 115 grain FMJ and I think this is Winchester steel cased. So let's see how these guys shoot. I kind of want to get rid of these. I don't know if some of you guys are subscribed to Military Arms channel, but uh, Max been trying to get rid of all. He bought these in bulk, thinking, you know, hey, it's good Winchester steel cased ammo. Now this stuff's crap, guys. Don't buy it. In fact, All right. kind of shooting the target at an angle so I'm grouping them a lot or I kind of don't want them but he's a bad guy he'd be dead so I'm going to try something out anyway I'm going to fool around here at the range here for a few more minutes and I'm going to head out of here because I got a lot of stuff I got to do today unfortunately but uh appreciate you guys sticking around with me here and continuing to watch the channel. I know the videos have been sparse as of late, but uh, now that I've found this range, I can actually get out here and, and do some stuff. So next next video will probably, oh, I, I forgot to mention that the Nagant is now zeroed. The scope is fine. I don't know what I was doing wrong last time. I just got super frustrated and had to stop myself. It, I think the head spacing needs checked out after I got the bolt uh, anonized and made the bolt all pretty, but other than that, it's shooting great. My 22, I brought it out last time, zeroed it, good to go. So I'll be doing an individual review of each of them and the parts that are on all of them. That's probably going to be my next one is in the Gaunt once I get uh, the head spacing checked out on it. Um, but anyway, thank you guys. There'll be much more to come. Next video will probably, or other than the Gaunt video, the next shooting video will likely be... What rifles do I have left? My M1 Grand, SVT-40. You know, let's just make it a World War II video. We'll do the... M1 Grand, the SVT-40, and the uh, Lee Enfield number 4 Mark I. So, well, see you guys. Thank you for uh, watching the channel, subscribing. Leave comments, questions below, and uh, have a great weekend.